Hi, I'm Godfrey Jerry, and today we're going to walk through some science fun. In my day job as AVP of Group Life and Disability, I get to apply my science knowledge to helping people get back to work. But today, I'm going to take my science knowledge to help have some fun at Camp Manual Life. I'm joined by some fellow Manual Life Camp attendees, Giselle, Hi. and Tobin, my kids. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make your own lava lamp. So this is what's known as a DIY lava lamp. To make your own lava lamp, you'll need these easy, uh, ingredients that are around your home. Some vegetable oil, some vinegar, baking soda, any color food dye. I specifically like green, like it's manual like green, a funnel, a measuring cup, a clear water bottle, or even a tall glass, and some measuring spoons, and something to stir. Let's get started. Okay, so what we've done is we've poured one cup of vegetable oil into this water bottle. Now what we're gonna do is add the vinegar. So I'm gonna put my funnel. I'm gonna have Giselle pour the vinegar in slowly. And here we go. This is a quarter cup of vinegar. And right away, as soon as she's done that, you can see an instant reaction to the bottle. And you can see how the separation has occurred and you have a little bit of action happen. So I'm just gonna help increase the reaction by stirring that in. And you can see all of the separations between the oil and the vinegar occurring. It's gonna give us a nice lava lamp effect. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a couple drops of the Manulife Green food dye. One, two, three, four, oh, five. A couple more just for fun. Need one more. And then I am going to turn it over to Tobin as he's already mixed together one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of water together and put it in this measuring cup and we're going to pour it into here. I'm just going to get my trusty funnel. And we're going to pour that right in there. Oh, look at that reaction. Is that pretty cool? Look at that. And we'll just take a look at that there. And we're just going to give that a little bit of stir. A little bit of stir. Now, that looks pretty cool for our DIY lava lamp. Do you think this will look a little bit better in the dark? Let's go give that a try. Now let's check Take a look at how our lava lamp is doing in the dark. Look at that reaction continue. Is that a pretty cool lava lamp? Just imagine you have that in your room when you're going to bed. That's going to keep away all those monsters. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for coming.